welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I'm finally back on my vlogging game recently. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie. I am 31 weeks pregnant tomorrow. I'm just gonna take you guys through a little fun week in my life. I currently live in Virginia Beach with my husband who's in the Coast Guard and our little dog named Topper. We're having a baby girl in March and I just stopped at Chick-fil-A. I had a reward for a free sandwich, so I decided to grab that and a Sunjoy, which is half sweet tea, half diet lemonade. It's so good. It's been one of my pregnancy obsessions lately. I just thought I would pick this up before I do a grocery pickup. Where I'm picking up the groceries is right near Home Goods, so we might stop and cruise through there for a little bit, see what they have. Little Monday reset today. I already changed the sheets on the bed. I made the grocery order this morning. I went to the gym and worked out with Andrew, and now I'm running my errands, so I feel very productive this morning. Morning. I'm already feeling like I need a nap honestly because I did all of that this morning but I feel so good I love Mondays I actually get Mondays off now I used to work on Mondays but because I'm pregnant I have been trying to slow down my schedule a lot more and it's been really nice I used to love Mondays even when I was working because it just feels like a whole new fresh start there's just something about it I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I should probably take this sweatshirt off because I've been spilling everything on the bump recently it's been so bad and then we're gonna head to Home Goods. Just got home from Kroger Pickup and Home Goods. I'll give you guys a quick grocery haul. I got some Caesar salad some raspberries and blueberries. I've been loving yogurt bowls lately. So I got those to top that with some Brussels sprouts and red peppers, bananas. I got a couple of honey crisp apples. These go macro bars and then some cumin seasoning. We needed more of that. I got some maple syrup and a couple of sweet potatoes, red enchilada sauce and green chilies. We're making enchiladas tomorrow. Some Dijon mustard for another recipe. I got some eggs. It blows me away that these were like $5. I cannot believe it. I usually try to go to like Trader Joe's or Aldi, but Kroger did have a, I think it was $10 off your pickup order. Definitely look for that because they do coupons all the time for your pickup order. So I ended up getting like with all of my coupons and everything, $30 off today, but it just blows me away how expensive these are. Oh my gosh, wait, what in the world? I accidentally ordered two things of kiwi. I've been loving fruit during my whole pregnancy, but I did not mean to order two of these, or maybe they like accidentally threw in another. Got lots of kiwis this week, I guess. They got some English muffins, got some panko breadcrumbs, avocados. I love these townhouse pita crackers for hummus. They are so good. And then this is really weird. This is all they put in this one bag are my tortillas. Glad they're not smashed, but that seems like kind of like a waste of a bag. But I love getting the Carb Balance Mission Tortillas. They taste the same. They only have 70 calories, four net carbs, and they're higher in fiber. So I don't know. I just try to make replacements like where I can. I got some cream cheese for another recipe. Love this Too Good yogurt. I also got a couple of these Chobani yogurts because these are so good on the go. They have 20 grams of protein and just super easy. Some milk and orange juice for smoothies. Got some seaweed snacks because I'm gonna make some salmon bowls tonight. Some pasta. I also grabbed these Cliff Bar Thins. These came in a registry welcome kit. I think it was the Amazon one. And I thought they were kind of good. They are only 100 calories, kind of like these little brownie cookie things, but they're like really crunchy. So I don't know. Also got Boom Chicka Pop popcorn and some more chia seeds. I need to make my overnight oats, so we'll have to do that later. The only thing I ended up grabbing at Home Goods was this candle. I literally cannot walk out of Home Goods without a candle. It's kind of a problem, but they have the best candles for such a good price. This is the Sand and Fog Sunwashed Citrus, and I kid you not, it smells just like the Capri Blue candle at Anthropology, and it's in this beautiful jar too, so love that. I have not had the best luck at Home Goods lately. They have a lot of really good 
organizing stuff, but I get so overwhelmed by that aisle. Also like to look for coffee table books there, but I didn't see anything. I ended up just walking out with this candle. Andrew's literally gonna be like, another candle? Like why? You already have like 20 of them. You guys know that candles are always a necessity. Now I'm gonna put all of these groceries away. dinner in the oven i'm gonna make salmon bowls for tonight just seriously so easy to make got my salmon in the oven i have this little miniature rice cooker it's been a lifesaver we use this thing so much we honestly thought it was gonna be one of those things that like we would buy we'd use it a couple of times and then never use it again but we use it all the time so it has like a little cook and warm setting you can also make like oatmeal in here steamed vegetables there's a lot of other recipes and things that you can do with this i also wanted to share with with you guys big apartment update we got a new couch finally this is from article we actually got this from a sale that they were having for new year's so i highly recommend if you're gonna order from article to wait until like a holiday weekend or something like that because i think they do sales pretty frequently it kind of looks almost bluish in the camera but it's definitely like a light gray and the fabric on this couch is so nice we love the size for our apartment topper obviously loves it and it's also reversible with the way that we move a lot we can take this piece and put it on this side if we need to so far we're loving it i'll let you guys know like later on how we feel about this couch because i we got it a week ago so i feel like i can't fully say if it's a good couch or not but my sister has had a couch from article and she really loved it and then another living room addition is the four moms mama Roo swing i got this off of marketplace so exciting to see baby things start to come out and then i'm planning on getting like a new little side table situation for over here possibly like an olive tree in this corner or something just to get something with some height but things are coming along I've not talked to you all yet today. I just woke up from a little nap. That is key to me making it through my work nights while pregnant is taking at least like a 20 minute nap. I really try to prioritize squeezing that in. I just don't want to be tired while I'm at work and it really helps. I did a lot of stuff this morning. I got up, I made dinner, vacuumed and kind of cleaned up the apartment a little bit. I make dinner sometimes in the morning because Andrew and I both work at night and I made enough for tomorrow too. So I won't have to do that tomorrow, luckily. I made skillet enchiladas and I showed you guys in a clip earlier. They are so good. So I'll put the recipe down below. I always have my Pinterest link down below too. I have to get ready for work now the day literally flies by so fast especially when i take a little nap but i'm gonna make a protein smoothie here to get me through the first little bit of my night tonight is a little bit of a shorter night i have a rehearsal and then i have an hour break which i'm gonna use to like edit music and kind of like get my stuff together with dance things like probably come up with some choreography in my head i'm gonna make my protein smoothie i've been making a really yummy one recently i'm gonna share with you guys what is in that. 
for the smoothie, I use almond milk. We just get ours at Costco. This is the Kirkland brand, unsweetened. I do about four ounces of that. And then just to add a little bit more sweetness, I do about four ounces of orange juice. That was literally perfect. I'm going to add this triple berry medley. Always adding in a lot of spinach, especially while pregnant for more iron. And you can actually freeze your spinach. I always freeze my spinach for smoothies and it lasts forever. I'm gonna add a spoonful of yogurt in here because I don't have a banana. So this makes it a little bit more creamy and also adds some protein. I've been using this Orgain vanilla protein powder. We get the big chocolate one from Costco. And honestly, since I'm almost out of this vanilla one, I could probably just get it at Costco, but I just wanted to like try and see if I liked it but I love putting this in the smoothies. A serving is technically two scoops, but I just throw one scoop in there. We just got dressed and ready for work today. I am officially 31 weeks today. So excited for baby to come. Obviously not yet, but we are so excited. I just got changed for work. I'm wearing one of these maternity shirts. It came in a pack of three from Amazon and I got this with a gray, a black, and then this dark green color, but there's several different color options and it's just really nice to have for a good basic to layer with flannels, jackets, or sweatshirts. And then this hoodie is the same one I was wearing yesterday. It is so cozy. It's naturally super oversized, so it's from American Eagle. I'm wearing a size medium. I honestly thought I was going to need like the large, but because it's so oversized, it can literally even zip over my bum. Definitely stay true to size if you're going to get this hoodie. I got it for 40% off and it's so cozy, but also like super lightweight so perfect for spring coming up the leggings i'm wearing are the crz yoga butterlux leggings i got these in a longer length so that they go up higher on the belly i also have the super high rise leggings those ones have a little bit of a thicker material a little bit different i still wear them and they still work but i love the just the plain butterlux leggings in any length these are actually the 30 inch because they didn't have my size in the 28 and they're a little bit long um i was desperate I just needed some leggings that fit me. I wear a size medium still, even with the bump, and they work out. And I have a code with them too, so I'll pop it down below in the description because I love my CRZ Yoga leggings. They are just like aligns. They are so buttery soft. So that's the outfit today. I'm probably gonna put my hair up once I get to work leaving for work and I'm so mad because it's actually such a gorgeous day outside and I basically like just napped the day away. Well, I didn't nap the day away because I did a lot this morning, but this sunny afternoon, I just napped it all away, which is fine because my rest is more important, but it's also really good for me to get outside and take a walk and stuff, but my body just aches and is in so much pain by the end of the night when i'm teaching two pregnancy must-haves are super comfortable sneakers and a belly band of some sort that has saved my life especially wearing sneakers at work literally my feet start hurting in seconds if i'm not wearing sneakers i made it back home from work i gave topper his dinner somebody needs a little bit of a haircut his hair has gotten so long which we love him when he's super fluffy but he's looking a little bit scruffy now so he's such a good boy i just got home but andrew's not home yet from work i got a few packages in the mail so i thought we would unbox a few little random things that i got first one is from target i made an order with a bunch of cloud island stuff because when you i think it's when you register with them they give you a coupon on the cloud island stuff and that was about to expire so i wanted to use it up I got some bassinet sheets, a crib sheet, and then I also got these little onesies. Let's see what they look like. So far they feel pretty soft and stretchy. I decided to get little footless ones. I think it's kind of nice that they unzip from the bottom. So that seems like it'd be an easier diaper change to me. Look at how cute. I'm always like amazed at how small all of these look. There's this cute little pink one and then this plain pink one. Then I have a little package from Amazon. I already know what this is. And this is a ridiculously large sized box for what is in here. This size box for just one little lip product. This 
stays on so long. Like I went to Ulta this last weekend. Andrew and I went out shopping, tried it on my hand. I was gonna buy it, but the line was super long and I really had to go use the bathroom. Pregnancy problems, ended up not getting it. And I was like, I'll just order it on Amazon. Anyway, the test that I had on my hand stayed on like after I washed my hands like three times, it was still there. I had to like literally scrub it off. So from what I can tell already, this stuff stays on super well. I'm excited to try it. I really want to try out the color actually. I have, I have no idea what it looks like on. So it's double-sided. There's one for the color and I'm really loving how this applicator looks. So this is just like a light pink. I could have done a better job at applying it. I think this is gonna dry matte. And then you've got the lip gloss side to get it all shiny. But I'm so not used to seeing myself with like any sort of lip color on because I have not been wearing lip color in so long. It doesn't feel sticky so that's a good sign and this is in the shade cash flow the last little thing in the mail i'm so excited for i ordered this off of etsy this is for when baby girl is born i almost said her name i am not saying her name online just yet until we announce it when she's born and this is actually her little name tag that i'm going to take a picture of her with when she's born to announce her and everything the company is mod wood co on etsy this is what it looks like and then it has her name in cursive and i'm obsessed it is so cute i'm gonna hang on to this forever it's adorable it honestly looks so cozy in here that's my pregnancy pillow which by the way has been such a game changer for how i sleep i've been sleeping so well ever since i got it i just remembered that i have some leftover birthday cake my birthday was on sunday and i still have cake in there so gonna snuggle in read my book i'm reading it starts with us i am kind of behind on this it is the second book to it ends with us honestly i don't know how i feel about it yet i'm about halfway through i think i'm just kind of in general over colleen hoover at this point because i've read so many of her books and i've loved them and they're just like such an easy read because whenever i read i don't want anything to be like super complex i'm usually reading like at night or in the morning i think i just honestly need to take a break from colleen hoover and read other books so comment down below your favorite book that is not by colleen hoover i really like romance books but i also like some like psychological thrillers or something with a little bit of a mystery in there so let me know your favorite book and topper and i are gonna wait for for Andrew to get home. It is a Wednesday. I did a little bit of prenatal Pilates this morning and just like a quick 30 minute workout and it feels so good to at least move my body a little bit. I wanted to talk about my like workout schedule while pregnant. During the first trimester, I like barely ever worked out. I think I started out kind of doing a few workouts at home and trying to keep moving, but like my body was just so tired. And also like every time I moved, I felt so nauseous. So I started out really trying and then I just kind of like gave up and didn't really work out a lot during the first trimester. In the second trimester, I slowly started adding in at least a couple days a week, but there were definitely weeks where I was going like just one time or I ended up skipping and not going at all. And that was mostly because I just didn't really have time or energy because I was working so much. And it's really funny how the third trimester I have been working out and like the most active out of all of them. I would say, I guess like the end of second beginning of third and we'll kind of see how it goes once i near the end of the third trimester i still have like two months i mean honestly she could come in like a month and a half which is insane for me to think about we're like literally two months away from her getting here and i could not be more excited to be not pregnant anymore <laughs> i am so over it i was feeling so overwhelmed and like i guess you could say overstimulated this morning by just the things that i have to get done with work or just around the house and just like feeling tired but also trying to take care of myself it's been difficult like being pregnant is not easy at all but for my workout today i used this channel i'll have to link it down below i think it's called prenatal and postpartum tv a bunch of different prenatal pilates Pilates and yoga classes and there's literally like endless options and she'll put in the description like if they're safe for the third trimester because there's stuff that you can do in the first that you can't do in the second and the third. I've done a few yoga classes also which has really helped stretch and move my body because when I was not moving my body as much I could definitely feel it more. I was feeling more stiff like I'm still obviously dealing with lower back pain but it helps 
a lot, which is funny because you would think that moving your body would make it worse, but it actually to a certain degree makes it better. Sometimes I'll look up like prenatal bedtime yoga and it's just really nice to get in a good stretch before I go to bed because when I sleep at night, I sleep in basically the same position the whole night and my body gets so stiff in the morning. I literally roll out of bed and I'm just like, I can't get out of bed because my body is just hurting all over and then once I get moving I'm feeling good. I've just been feeling really good including that. I have been doing like maybe an arm day or leg day and then one of the prenatal Pilates videos in the morning or like an incline walk on the treadmill has been super helpful just to get my body moving and in the gym. I'm mostly doing it at this point to hopefully help my recovery postpartum and also to keep the habit of still moving my body and going to the gym because that would be the hardest thing ever if I did not work out this entire pregnancy and then postpartum all of a sudden I need to start up in the gym and I just want it to like continue to stay a part of my lifestyle even if that means like a short walk outside I just want to continue that in my morning routine I've just heard so many people say if you can work out work out while you're pregnant because it's helped other people with their recovery so I'm hoping that that will also help me too. But yeah, so that's my little workout regimen. Nothing too insane. I really have to listen to my body. So if I'm not feeling a workout, I don't make myself feel guilty about skipping one. I'm a huge believer in going to the gym for your own health. And it's been a really weird journey because every time I've gone to the gym, I have not only been working out for my health, but also for physical results too, of course. Like I love seeing my progress and building muscle and weightlifting and stuff like that that is obviously not the case during pregnancy I'm just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger which at first was really discouraging but it's really helped me like have a really healthy mindset about the gym because the only thing that I'm working out for is for my health and for the baby's health it just makes me feel so much better so I have a long night ahead of me I honestly have a lot of choreography that I have to do but being pregnant has really helped me with having to just be like on the spot and spontaneous and coming up with things quickly on my own or in class but I do like to prep a little bit so I'm gonna have some lunch here and then I'm going to prep for my classes and hopefully sneak in my afternoon nap before I leave oh my gosh it is raining the worst possible gloomy weather outside i've been the worst also at vlogging today because obviously i'm just trying to get work stuff done and find time to like rest my body and relax for a little bit it's been a crazy day i also like used this morning to make a reel for instagram so i didn't like vlog this morning so i kind of feel bad about that because the content today and yesterday have just not been it um because i've had to focus on going to work but i promise tomorrow i have the day off i don't really know what i have planned for tomorrow but <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Three hours, you guys, is how long it took for me to get an oil change this morning. I showed up at 9.30 and I am finally almost home. I stopped at Chick-fil-A. This is a repeat of Monday to get the half sweet tea, half diet lemonade because I decided I needed a little treat after waiting around for so long and I wouldn't be so annoyed if my computer didn't start acting up while I was there and being really slow because I was trying to get at least some editing done while I was there because normally it does take a while but my computer was being so slow and just like not working so I am exhausted last night was crazy when I drove home it was raining so hard I've never seen it that bad and I've driven through some pretty crazy storms here but yeah it was crazy I'm just glad I made it home safe I ended up staying up late because Andrew also got home from work pretty late and so when I'm like working so late it's really hard for me to wind down and go to sleep so I'm feeling pretty tired this morning between that and then having to get up for this appointment so i am ready to go home and just chill for a second i don't have many plans for the rest of today i'm probably gonna do my nails i think i definitely need to do them we're gonna make a yummy dinner tonight i'm gonna finally go home and we'll see where the rest of today leads us another little amazon haul on tuesday i ordered some stuff for like postpartum care and for the 
baby girl. And I'm so excited that it all came in today. I almost forgot everything that I ordered. I ordered some packing cubes because I thought these would be really helpful to have with my hospital bag, just so I can separate things and have like a bag for my stuff, a bag for baby girls things, and like specifically like one for going home outfits just to have it organized. And then like, I can ask Andrew like, hey, can you hand me this cube or whatever? So it doesn't get confusing. Oh wow, this comes with so many different pieces. So we have these couple of bags, I'm assuming they're for shoes, this little kind of like toiletry bag, and then different size packing cubes. So I like that it has like pretty small ones. So that will be perfect for baby girls things. And then the bigger ones have straps in them to hold everything down. So that is pretty cool. It comes with five different bags and then you've got like the shoe bags and the other stuff too. So I have a feeling this is going to be so handy. I got baby girls some bows. This was a massive pack for $14. There are 10 different bows. Let's see how the fabric feels because I feel like that's a make it or break it because I want everything to be so soft on her head. <gasps> they are perfect. It is like the thinnest, most stretchy fabric. Like they feel like they would be so comfortable on her head. These are so cute. It's like this little rib material. I have all these neutrals now. They're going to go with like every single outfit white black another kind of shade of pink and then this mustardy color these will be so cute for in like the fall time the rest of the afternoon cleaning up the kitchen like you guys saw i did a couple loads of laundry just kind of picked up the house a little bit because things just got so crazy because it feels like andrew and i have not been home that much but he should be home hopefully earlier tonight i need to make some dinner because i'm so hungry but i just did my own nails i'll show you guys up closer what they look like but i used to do the press on nails and those are so fun because they come in so many different colors now so many different designs and you don't have to go to the nail salon. Recently, I've been doing gel nails because the press-ons kind of like ruined my nails. I do them still like every once in a while, but I was doing them like over and over again and they really ruined my nails. So I got a whole bunch of stuff off of Amazon for gel nails and I've been loving doing it. It's been so much fun. This is my non-dominant hand. So this one was a little bit harder to do. It still looks so cute. I did some hearts for Valentine's Day. I need to get more colors though for my little like nail set up here but i'll link all of the stuff that i use because this light is so nice and compact i've got like these little tools to make the fun designs and then this came super cheap on amazon they have several different packs that are so inexpensive and i just got like a bunch of neutral colors to start off with and then we've got like some cuticle oil and i really love this brand for the base and top coat highly recommend it is so much fun it does take quite a bit of time but i love it because i can just stay at home i can turn on a show do my nails made myself a little shirley temple i put it in a wine glass so i can feel somewhat fancy while pregnant we all know this is like the best pregnancy drink and i used to order it as a kid all the time and then i am going to make this southern style creamy parmesan chicken pasta tonight for dinner this is a half baked harvest recipe i always save my favorite recipes on pinterest so if i do end up liking it it'll be saved on there and i will let you guys know what i think i'm excited a lot of the half-baked harvest recipes sometimes can be really complicated but this one doesn't seem too bad <laughs> Golden 